Today we are uh, planting some carrots. So I, um, this spot right here is where I had the chickens all last winter. So um, I collected all of our leaves, uh, lots of wood chips and other debris, pine straw, you know, all that kind of stuff, whatever I could find. And I dumped it in here with the chickens and uh, left the chickens in here all winter. And then early spring, I raked up some beds. I, I made some beds here and we planted uh, beets and lettuce. So um, all that stuff is gone. The beets have been out of the ground for several weeks. And I took this tarp and I covered up the, uh, covered up the ground where the beets were and killed the grass. And then I just took that torch and burn it all off and I'm gonna rake the beds back up and smooth it all out and spread some uh, limestone which neutralizes the, the pH level and uh, and then I'm going to take my root fork and brought you know loosen up the dirt smooth it out again and then plant the carrots and then keep it well watered and we'll have plenty of carrots this winter. Couple things I've learned about planting carrots. Um, one is you have to keep the uh, you have to keep the ground moist for the carrots to germinate. Sometimes it takes up to two weeks for the carrots to germinate. So usually I will um, plant some beets with the carrots as an indicator and when the beets pop up out of the ground I'll take the torch and uh, burn it again to burn any any weeds 
that, that might be popping up. So the two things I've learned is uh, you have to keep it moist during germination and you have to keep the weeds out. So usually I'll water it every day or I'll keep the sprinkler on it and um, use the beets as an indicator crop to uh, know when to use the torch again. The beets will pop up in just a couple of days, maybe like four days and the carrots take longer so as soon as the beets pop up it's time to use the flame weeder again.